you have like no idea what I have gone through. I just took half of the chunk of cake and I just threw it at him. So he was trying to play God. He wanted to see all of us, right, in distress. I never got the apology. I only got the come we settle. Ah! Have you also had a breakdown so bad that you screamed a warrior-like war cry, crawled into a corner and cried like a baby? No. This is your <laughs> daily catch-up. Hey, if you have not heard, we just created a new daily catch-up community. Yes, join so us. So please join over there. We will be using it. Huh? Hopefully, y'all can help us test run whether this episode gets cancelled or not. Uh, be part of that conversation where we'll be sharing exclusive content, bloopers, and uh, conversations that we really think some people should see, but not everybody should see. <laughs> We're going to try and uh, organize meetups as well, because some of y'all have uh, commented that y'all hope that y'all can watch the episodes live yes. and or be a part of the show. And so we'll be having all that discussion over there. So please join. So don't miss out, scan the QR code or click the link in the description box down below and we'll see you, we can't wait. We cannot, absolutely not. <laughs> in fact, our KPI depends on this. What will you do? What will you be doing in the community? I, me? Yes. Oh, I'll run polls for you guys. Oh, Interesting questions. Polls. Correct, yes. correct. And um, um, what else? It's really, we should have planned this. Huh? Yes, we should, we should have. have we should have. No, no, I we blame John. Say we, we're going to wing this. I, they join it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wait, that's Dan. Dan uh. You can keep Dan out of the chat. Yeah, Dan, he, he, he needs to stop typing, sir. He's the only person. He's, He's the, the only, only person, person typing and Join us. <laughs> Join Dan, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jared's here. Hey, what's up? Hi. Jared has joined the chat. He's on the So this is a, it's a company chat. <laughs> it's a six of us. Six of us. <laughs> <laughs> I found a thread that says, Generally count people off Reddit. What made you lose your absolute shit? <laughs> 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 what was the last straw? Uh, so there are quite a few responses if you would like to Google the Reddit thread by yourself. But this got me thinking about one time where I had an absolute outburst. So I would consider myself a generally calm person. <laughs> <laughs> you don't? No, mm. no, as in, I don't think I've ever gotten angry at like, I Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do we agree that she's generally no, a calm person? You, no, I don't get angry at people. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. Whenever I ever you're like, you're stupid. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're you're pulpy. <laughs> no, you're but that is like at no. work, ma. Yeah. That is about work, what? No, no, no. Like, I feel like we're like, trying to instigate a meltdown right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm curious why y'all have this negative impression of me. It's not negative. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody says negative. We yeah. embrace you for who you are. Okay. So this was when I was in JC. And then as y'all know, in JC, I retained one year, right? And that was the moment where my mother felt the most disappointed in me. I think there were a lot of contributing factors that led to why I really like flunked my, out of my studies. Yeah. And then it felt like my mom had no had completely no consideration for that. And then it's just, everything's just about like her face, her face, you know, mm. like how, I cannot remember the exact thing she said, but then it was just one of those, like she nagging at the side and then like uh, make a comment about how like, oh, I retain and then like, that's just such a disgrace to her, that kind of thing. Mm. Then I had like a huge meltdown Then I burst out crying, right? And like, I don't cry, ma. Mm. So, and then like, I think it was like, to the extent that I was like hitting myself also. Cause Whoa. like I was just, I had just so much like pent up frustration, right? Then my grandma was there also like, then she, at that point, then she felt like a lot of like heartache. Like. Then to me is that like, I think I just shouted like, you have like no idea what I have gone through. To your mom? Yeah, I mean, um, I shout for whoever in the family can hear lah. Like <laughs> people were at home at that point. <laughs> How did she react to it? She just went to her room after that. Oh. Ah. Then oh. it's just like, never thought about it. Really. Also, there wasn't a back and forth lah. You just dumb one time, then you, then you mic drop lah. Mm. Like no resolution. Right. But to be honest, I think that was like probably the best way that it could have played It's supposed out. to escalate things further. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Because I think the worst thing that her mom could have done is like double down on it. And then I think that would have caused like permanent damage to yeah. the relationships, yeah. Perhaps, but I do think that like my family have a very, has a very bad way of conflict resolution. So to my mom, it's just like, we are family, like no matter what, we have to let it go. Mm. So I think to her, like she was probably shocked. And then after that, she perhaps didn't know what to say or so. Mm. Then she just like, go be by herself and let mm. me be by, my, by myself also, right? Mm. Then after that, the next day, it's just as though like nothing ever happened. No? So it's never been brought up after? What? And this mm. is like years ago? Mm, where I just see one point fire. Wow. <laughs> so then Which now is. now it has never been uh No closure. Yeah, it has never been mm. like 
Is it, I think that, the yeah, so I, I do think that there are a lot of issues that are glossed over like that. Like recently I had another like big fight with my mama. Uh, then mm. like I think like this, like it was like one of the few, few, few times in my life that she apologized to me after that mm. kind. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. I think that's how most Singaporean or Asian families like handle conflict. Eh? Like I do remember like having a similar uh, pent up outburst and then suddenly uh, my mom say something and then like I don't remember what I screamed, but I know it was like full of emotion and there was a f- inside and it totally caught her off guard. Yeah. And then I just went to my room. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. this is not just limited to families though. I think like in like conflict resolution in general, it's just something that we're not like trained well in at all. Like I feel like even with friends, there have been instances also where like I may have done something wrong or a friend has done something wrong and then we'll just let it go. The next time we meet, we'll act like as though nothing happened. Do you all have shouted at your fine. friends before? I've thrown a kick to a friend before lah, cause I was so <gasps> angry. You say this story before, but yeah. <gasps> Can you- So basically, okay lah, we were all a little bit drunk lah, and, and so was I, but basically like, we all gathered at my friend's place, it was his birthday, we were all at a bar at first, and then we moved to to, to my friend's house. They are my closest friends, and, and, and uh, like I love them to bits, but I also always felt that because there was a period of time where I may have neglected them, I've always been, for a long time, always been trying to make up for it. Mm. Mm. And they've never felt there was a need to, it's just something that I've imposed on myself. Yeah. Mm. So a lot of times when I do something, like I feel like I really give my heart out, like even if it's just to cut a cake. So as I'm cutting the cake, and obviously like I'm a little bit drunk, so it's a bit all over the place. Uh-huh. <laughs> on a normal day, when I'm sober, I gotta say I have, above average kick cutting skills. Mm-hmm. But at that point in time, it wasn't <laughs> okay, showing. No, 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 I believe you. So then reason. my friend basically just muttered, who the f cut a kick like this? Who the f And then like, <laughs> who, 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 who the f cuts a kick like this? They like, drunk, they drunk. Yeah, they drunk. <laughs> and then um, like, it wouldn't stop. Like he keeps mentioning like, what the f is this kick? What the f is this kick? <laughs> then like, <laughs> by the fourth time he mentioned it, right? I just took half of the chunk of cake and I just threw it with at, your hand. At him. Yeah, but did it hit him? It hit him in the face. Jesus nice. Christ, that's fighting and, actions. And, yeah. and to be fair, the cake splattered like in a lot of places, like uh. and it's a very fancy home, right? Uh. But then, like I guess, because people are like drunk or they're having their own conversations, like they didn't see the build up to that. So right, all right, they right. see is I just suddenly decided to throw cake and be a like. A a child la. Yeah. How did he handle it? When when he cannot hit in the face with kick already, then what happens? Oh, he was angry la. And then, then he was he like, what the f***? Because he doesn't know why. Yeah, he, he had no idea why. Like all, then, all, all he saw was that I just threw kick at him. And then as I told him, like, so then after that, like we just had a stare down. And then <laughs> like he's way buffer than I am. And I said, you want to settle this outside? Like I was oh the one that- <laughs> No, no, it's the tone one. You can tell when a fight's gonna go down I in the party. Yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Just so like, so like, I said, you have to settle this outside, and then that's when everybody all was like, "Hey, no lah, come yeah, on!" Yeah, yeah. But I know I'm gonna lose, and I'm gonna get my face dragged down. But I'm gonna go down swinging lah, and then yeah. and then it was obviously. Why oh, you stopped. think so much? You know, you never swing lah. No, no, we didn't even get to go outside. People yeah, like stopped yeah, us already from oh. there. Oh. Wait, like, yeah. <laughs> you waiting for the drama? Yeah, but like, I needed to make a stand because I needed to show that like I I. It will okay, okay. To be fair, if you didn't land the kick on his face, it would be way worse because you would have missed yeah. your target. And behind me was a really expensive painting. Make oh, painting. Oh, exactly. yeah, okay, then yeah. make yeah, a yeah, mess. Yeah. And then somehow you have to, you malu, you know? Yeah, you have to yeah, pay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think justifiable for the homeowner to be a bit angry. La. No, no, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, because they'd be like, no, so the rest of the party, you'll just avoid eye contact. You no, so then like the, the party la. continued, but then um, we had, we have a really good like friend who's a, like a really good mediator. Uh, and so then he pulled the two of us aside and then we had a very long chat. I think like the chat lasted also, like three hours. Oh, on the spot. On the spot. Oh, on the spot. Drunk people. Real men. Really, really respect, good, respect. Yeah. Do you think if the mediator didn't exist, <coughs> y'all would have ever talked it out? I mean, after that, we did have more series of talks. Shout out Maybe to all the mediators in friend groups. Yeah. Respect really, to you really also. Fantastic. Thank you. But Everybody's really, very thankful for you. It was a really good chat. Like we both cry all yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Drunk also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the emotion. The eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. but I can't believe that about it. Was the cake nice? I didn't have any. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Yeah, he he did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> 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 right in the mouth, yeah. Uh, I think the only people that can really hurt me or really create an emotional like response in me are the ones that I really, really feel like are, are super close to me. And so, so like, us, la. so like the, the person that I threw kick to, right? <laughs> I would have done that if we weren't close. Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. that because I really treat him as like a, a brother. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel like that's me every day in my head 
That's why I, I am seemingly <laughs> calm. Uh, oh, but a lot of battles going on. Yeah, in your unless head. like something don't make sense to me, right? Then suddenly I'll be triggered. Mm. So there's only one instance where I was like angry triggered. Last time, I'm one of the leaders of a, a CCA club. There are seven of us in the leadership in the leadership team. So one day, one of the members who is in charge of taking care of our club space, mm. he posted a photo on the group of the CCA group about the whole place kind of trashed. Like there was like water spilled, like there was like oh, books damn. everywhere, like it's damn dirty. And then he posted that on the club chat saying, who do this? Like who own up now? Like y'all cannot treat the club like this, you know? They disrespected the mm. place, you know? So we had a meeting. For three hours, we were sitting there thinking about the plans or what to do. Cause this, this is a very like dire situation to us. Like, Cause they, we feel like this person totally disrespected the club and the space and how we should move forward. Now after three hours, right? The the person who posted that photo, who is the one of the leaders, said, "Oh, uh, I did it." Then I huh? was like, "He was huh? me all along." What, 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 what you mean? I did it. Then he said, "Yeah, like I trust the place to prove a point." Huh? This Ron Swanson. Wait, wait. <laughs> then, okay, one more thing I forgot to add. Right on the table, right there was an overturned Coke bottle that if you lift it up, right, it will spill completely. That's damn skill. Some people just yeah, want to watch. Yeah, the I was like, no, no, I know how to do. <laughs> I also know I've seen it on no, TikTok no I was completely <laughs> mind blown like for 10 seconds right, I was like <laughs> wait what was the point he was trying to prove he was trying to show the team like hey you cannot take my role lightly <laughs> <laughs> He was trying to play God. Like he want he wanted to see all of us, right, in distress to know like how is, does it feel, right, if someone really trashed this place. Wow. Is he in jail then now or something? I was like <laughs> There's a movie about him, there's several <laughs> American Psycho. What no, a dick. No, that I've never been so angry in my life. Eh. This is called social path, right? Yes. Mm. Yes. And this social behavior almost. Yeah, a bit narcissistic. Yeah. To sum it up, we talked to him mm. and then we resolved it. But then from that day onwards, I'm like, this person means nothing to me. Uh. I feel like I've been through several of these instances, but rather than resolve, right? The moment the big conflict and the blowout happen, right? They are dead to me. Okay. <laughs> like oh. I just cut them out and then I just lose that friend or like that friend group or whatever. Wow. Like, rather than like, yeah. And, and I've kind of like just navigated life like that for the most part. Does it only apply to friends? I mean, no, because yeah. friends do feel the most replaceable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a, uh, as in, in a sense, like I can have 10 friends, ma, but I probably will never have 10 partners. Sure, but is it because yeah. you feel like there's just a huge difference that you will never be resolved and these people just don't mean anything to me? Or do you think it could be some form of ego thing at play where you feel like I've just had this embarrassing moment and I don't want to see them again? I think it was more towards like me not being able to accept that other people can wrong me. Um, and wow. that, or I can oh. wrong other people and we can, the relationship is still salvageable. When the other person try to approach you first to talk things out, have you also like just shut them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The moment it happens, then it's a f you already, a day, huh. then I'm just out. I feel like if I blew up, then someone say, hi, I apologize. Then I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's or at least, yeah. Don't no, even need to talk. Like there's no, I feel like extended. you already, you already show hand. Uh, then I'm like, okay. Okay, so, I never got the apology. Uh, I only got the come we settle. Uh, you want to settle? Then, then you want to figure it out? Then I'm like, at that point, I'm like, no. Uh, settle's yeah. the worst mm. word. Because you feel like you're problem. not in the wrong. Because so I feel like, like, yeah, even if we settle this, you, you, either you still wrong me or, or something just, we just, you know, there was still a conflict. Wait, settle means fight? Uh? No, 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 like talk it out. Yeah, like talk yeah. it out. Oh. Yeah, but the tone like, already, you know, it needs settle. No, 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 like, the tone not like that, but but it's, in my head, it's like that. La. In mm. my head, it's the, you want to figure out who right, who wrong or not, that kind. Oh, yeah. that is a fact finding mission and then it doesn't matter. Yeah, because there was never the apology. Yeah. Right. Mm. Mm. I think I've blown up a few times in my life, but I would like to consider myself also a very like calm person, right? Patient person. But then, it's, it really all is simmering inside. And there's always like, there are gonna be points where I implode until I explode. If that makes implode sense. Until you implode you until explode. you explode. Oh, okay. Like an atom. Like the, the, like the, the submarine. The, the internal explosion is so big that it felt outward. And then I <laughs> I, I, I literally like let out like guttural screams on like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, then, uh, uh, it's like, that, it's like, hey, wait, I said that out loud. <laughs> It, it really like, it really like- Oh, like warrior cry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really like, oh my God, why? Uh. So what is an example of a fight with a with a partner that caused you to 
has screamed. Yeah, so I think it's a bundle of a, a lot of things. Uh. So I think the, the breaking point was that one day uh, she just confronted me about something like very, in a very like accusatory and aggressive tone. I can feel myself like crumpling, you know, it's like mm. suddenly everything is like hitting up and then you just, you just scream and cry. <laughs> and then I, I just crawl into a corner, like literally, and then just started sobbing like uncontrollably. Mm. Yeah. Then what was her reaction yeah. in that moment? Thankfully, they they stop fighting, la. Which is which is why I, I I think like with your mother with your mother like that, right? If they continue doubling down, I felt like if if my partner had like you know, everything was a cry or something like that, then oh. that, 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 that's it. That's that's oh. that's, that's yeah, an yeah, ender yeah, yeah, for yeah, me, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> what is really the, you actually thought of the worst line that she could say? <laughs> Do you practice the scream though? Cause I feel like if you I build up until like right, then my scream sound a bit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I want it to be manly. Like when you stand yeah. at the f-ing edge of the cliff, uh, yeah. you want to let out a roar, you know? A roar, <laughs> like passionate one. Man, you, I you want like it to be like, no, but I never practice, that's why I no, scared. Then uh, always- so, so in your head, uh, try uh. I've never, I've never- Then, 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 then the, always roar. Where in a normal person's space are you going to find appropriate to practice a raw. No exactly. can. That's why I say, let, let, let's try it now. I always use my, as you know, I always. <laughs> Is that kind of movie where <laughs> they just scream only? Time, like when I was a kid, then I was thinking if I angry like how, right? Yeah. Then I go to, like when nobody at home, then I take the pillow, then I put it on my face, then I'll. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll, sometimes I'm like, eh? Can people hear or not? Then I'll go practice. I close the door, then I put the phone outside or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There I go see. Eh, can hear? Eh, cannot. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm practicing different, different uh, shouting. I feel like a lot of people do that before. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Scream into a fucking pillow. Yeah. yeah, it's very, very short. Then you must yeah. your feet must like that. Your legs. Okay, no, not this one. Oh, no. You know, like a practice, oh, like fourteen year old girl. Practicing the pillow. No, because I feel like I'm very repressed as a and child, sure. right? Mm. So sometimes I'll practice like if I use my booster, hit right. Like how hard can I hit? Okay, <laughs> your dolls still have heads. No, I, no, I don't want to damage the dolls. <laughs> the pillow than my mom. No, you know what I've also, as in, I've had moments where like, I just felt like I have so much pent up frustration, I just need to hit something, right? Usually like a couch. La. Like it get me very scared of like, oh shit, am I a violent person? Or like in future, if say, I, like, my partner really trigger me, right? Am I going to like hit something, you know, like punch the wall, that kind, you know? Mm. Then it scares me a bit, but yeah. My only problem is that I, I emotionally dump a lot when I'm in that state. So it's, it's not so much violent but it's like very sad for the other person to have to sit through two hours of me just renting and going in circles and not having like a direction in my rent. I think I think previously, like to relate to that, right? Like previously in a relationship when I get triggered, uh, I don't think I get riled up in general in life a lot. My version of riled up is not to, I don't think it's to scream and shout or whatever. Instead, right, I'll become very vicious. That means right, like I will- spiteful. Uh. Mm, oh. I don't know exactly what is the- what to say, right? Mm. They will trigger you and make you want to kill yourself. Yeah. Ayo, oh, that's the worst man. I know. Yeah, I hope you like, 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 no, 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 like, not like that, yeah. but like, I had to go through a lot of stuff, right? Oh. To, to really like experience that, right? Then Did I you know that it was wrong at that point? I mean, honestly, subconsciously, I know what I'm doing, but I'm just so angry, right? That I want this person to, f- it's usually because you want the person to feel the same amount of pain as you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew what I was doing, but at the same time, I didn't. Mm. Yeah. What I end up doing is that I tend to just close up. So very similar to Jared, like, I, like, I, I don't want to I burn out people with my feelings. So then I end up just having conversations with myself in my car. Yeah. And it goes on and on and on because you're having those conversations, but it's not resolved, ma. Because you're not actually talking to the person that needs to hear it. Um, yeah, and then becomes super, super shag. I think how I react to it in my relationship versus in my family is very different. So in my relationship, I think in the previous episode that we talked about, I did mention that like. I really try to communicate as much as possible and encourage my partner to do the same no matter how petty it feels like. Mm. Yeah, but then with my family, I just try to like avoid that if no problem, don't make problem, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then it's like, different, right? Yeah. Like if got problem, then just like move on, you know? Yeah, same. I, I think I think with Ned, like most of my problems are almost never with like my marriage or my relationship. I think we have a very healthy system and that's something built from like living with somebody and then you have to navigate those and then now it's like, it's fine and it's a really good place. And mm. I think my family, like the, the rare times that I have outbursts or whatever, it's the system of just next day, nothing happened, works. And I think that's fine also. I think it's when I'm trying to navigate through friends. No, like, I mean, at the end of the day, if it works, it works. No, you really think it, it works or is it just, 
swept under the oh, carpet. Problem for it doesn't happen day. that often, especially because I, I, I don't live with my family anymore mm. in the overseas and, and so absence makes the heart grow fonder and I really love them. Yeah, yeah. But I think as a, as a child, like there were quite a bit of tension points because I maybe felt like certain things were my fault and then I felt like I was being blamed for it and then I would just say like, yeah, 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 yeah everything was not my fault and then I will just like go to my room. And then I realized that actually I just really near time away and mm. then four hours have passed, it's dinner time and then I go down and like, Okay, dinner, dinner, and yeah. everything's fine. And I kind of just want it that way because I just I don't want to talk about it. Mm. No one wants to talk about it. Mm. And we're fine. And we remember why we love each other. I think what has made a big difference in my relationship with my parents in like the more recent years is that like they start recognizing me as a adult. I don't know whether it coincides with the timing where I started earning. Not the feeling that like they feel like they need to change their attitude in order to leech off of me, but in the sense that like they feel that like, okay, like now I'm my own person, I'm responsible for my own decisions, then they don't need to like give so much weight to when I make a misstep in my own life. It's also it's also them seeing you go out and live life and 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 I'm probably the relationships and communities that you build mm. then help you to mature a bit more and then they can see that growth in you also, which then might give them the trust to want to open up a bit more and, yeah. and talk to you like an adult also. But at the same time, it's a chicken and egg problem. Yeah. I think my takeaway from a relationship perspective, right, is really the wrong person. Like when you find the right person, you will be very thoughtful towards their feelings and, and, and whatnot also. And they also don't draw out the, the the very unhealthy versions of you. Right. One of the key things is really like the healthy form of communication mm. versus when I, like when I was in a very unhealthy relationship, right? It was really about winning. Right. Uh, winning or, or protecting hurting. my feelings and yeah I'm hurt I need to show you I'm hurt and then mm. you know hurt the yeah but the goal and the and the and the approach is different so if if you are in a relationship and you are that's what you're kind of doing then you really have to think about whether this person is right for you or not mm. yeah I think at the end of the day if you are having an outburst or meltdown it boils down to you just feeling misunderstood in the first place mm. and I think it's then what is the next step from there do you make a conscious effort to try and be understood that's step one. Two is that there's binary. If you end up feeling understood, great. If you don't feel understood still after the effort, then you have to make a decision whether does this relationship matter to you enough or not. So with your family, some people have walked away from their family. So hard. Oh, depressing. To navigate this shit. I was going to say that what John Paul brought up was actually very interesting because like, I think a big difference between my previous relationship and now is that like, I think when I think about a partner, like uh, someone that I want to do life with, right, I always want this person to hopefully be able to help me be a better person. Mm. Yeah, and I think in my previous relationship, it always felt like a, like what you said a bit, like somebody needs to win. Like if I sacrifice this, right, you need to like match that amount or you need to do more. Yeah. Then it felt like, a, okay, like I, I, I do my best. I try to be better for you, mm. you know? And then like it always, that always never sat right with me. When you finally find the right person, they come before you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> why? Hey, that's hey. a great line. Oh, you know, I thought you all gonna straight away jump money, but, <laughs> but, but, but you get what I mean. I got, ah, I got like it you. the first half of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you put them before yourself. No, I feel like the in, the biggest difference is that the unconsciousness <laughs> of it. Right. Like in the previous one, it felt like I was striving for that. But then now it feels like I just like watch her, right? And then it just like, it effortless. inspires me. Yeah, mm. and then that's, that, that it's effortless to want to do certain things. Right, right. I realize also, I think a lot of my, maybe my outbursts come from very deep insecurities and it's just down to the ego where you mm. feel like maybe for a long time, people think that you're weak or inferior or anything. And sometimes, especially in a very adlerian way of, God psychology. Oh, wait, what's All that these word big words, yeah, you like atlas, today. atlas, like psychology, where it's basically your past doesn't affect your current. Like you are finding excuses from your past to react in a certain way, right? Oh, like atlas. what what you're doing is that you are literally using an excuse to create an outburst because you want to feel either the attention because you lacked it, you want to feel like you're powering over somebody, uh, or oh, you know, I know, I know. So it's like when you purposely. F like start a fight with your partner just because the makeup sex is really good. Is it? Maybe, but they're, yeah, they're, they're more realistic examples. <laughs> uh, that so, might have been realistic for him though, based on his giggle. But like based on the book, so like the courage to be disliked, right? One of the examples that they, that they use like very early on, I think like chapter three or four is that uh, you are at a cafe and a waiter accidentally spills coffee on you. You outburst at that, that person a very traditional way of thinking of psychology is that it created a reaction that you couldn't control, which is anger, and then you created an outburst. But Atlas theory of like psychology or whatever is that you wanted to create an outburst because you wanted to feel the power 
over somebody else, which is that waiter. That incident gave you the excuse to suddenly mm. do that. Mm. The psychology of Karens. Essentially. <laughs> And so then he's basically saying that every reaction that you have, whether it's sadness, anger, or whatever, it's all controllable. It's all within your mind. And and don't give yourself the excuse to, to do that. Is. I truly believe in that. Yeah. Oh. But I think it's very important that you prepare yourself and train yourself mm. Equip to yourself. be able to respond. Yeah. So like, like you were talking about like your, your I mean, just to just go full circle and go back to your story with your friend, right? Mm. Like you say he's a buff lot, right? And you will die anyway, right? But you go down tough, <laughs> right? right? Mm. Like equip yourself with the ability so that when something happens <laughs> and you need to throw down, you're going to come out on top. But the point is to not to get to a stage where there's a throw down. Ma. No, but you want to have so much power, right? <laughs> yeah. No, because I, it, take, it, it puts you in a different position in yeah. life. Yeah. And having that power play yeah. allows me to actually be a bit more calm when I'm dealing with other people. Yeah, but isn't it more sustainable to have the awareness that every time you have an outburst, you don't actually need to. You are- Oh yeah, yeah I completely agree that. Yeah, and but so I then, think it's an add on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where, where I think- I maybe could have improved myself on is to realize that I have to let it go and not use this particular incident to just be able to mm. almost and get everybody's attention. Mm. Because I did say that there was a lot of underlying thing where I felt like maybe I was using that as an excuse. Master of my domain. Then yeah. I don't know whether I'm calm or repressed. Cause I never, I don't feel a need to show that I'm angry. Mm -hmm. like I only show like happiness out, out, out loud, but like angriness, I don't really show or sadness. You like sure not. Maybe I a bit triggered, but like at the core of it, right? You know, like it's like harmless, like by the time tomorrow, right? I a bit forget already. No way, I think it's because of your, you are non-confrontational. Oh. So then because of that, you suppress, then you kind of like don't have closure over the things that you should have addressed. Mm. No, but, but she's I, able to psych herself into thinking it doesn't matter. Then yeah. she can she might not be the healthiest man, because yeah, then are you able to, rather than figure out how you can navigate that, better in the future. Yeah. You, or and even gain closure from past experiences. Yeah. You just like, kind of like, no, again, like sweep it aside. While hearing all your stories, right, I kind of think it's not such a bad thing yeah. for me. Cause I feel like if I really truly let it go, right. Yeah. Then it's fine. What? Like it's just something that happened. It's a funny story. Like just now I talk about the whole poly thing, right. It's not like now I really want to like punch yeah. him or whatever. It's just when I talk about it, it's just like, haha for, for shits and giggles, right? To be fair, the best approach to almost anything is to letting really be able to let it go. Yeah. And maybe you genuinely are able to let it go. Okay, so thank you very much for watching our episode today. It was slightly more serious. Do oh. comment down below if you have any conflict resolution tips. If not, we'll see you in the next episode. Like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye. A uh, client was being unreasonable, so I had a bad day at work. And then when I was walking home, it was raining. And I was like, damn it, like I'm eight o'clock already, damn hungry, never eat lunch, you know. Then my mom was like, okay, I, I bought grilled chicken for you. Then I was like, oh, oh my God, the only saving grace of today is my grilled chicken. So I reached home already. Then I was like, eh? I, I text my mom, hey, where's the grilled chicken? I don't see it on the table. Oh. Then I was like, where's the grilled chicken? Like, cannot be. Like, my mom says, it's there, what? <laughs> then I go knock on my brother's room. Then I say, God, you got to see a grilled chicken? Then he said, oh yeah, I ate it. <laughs> I was like, you ate the chicken? <laughs> then I was like, okay. Then I go to my room, I close the door. I cry damn <laughs> loud. Like, <laughs> then, no, no, damn dramatic, like high school musical. Like, I hold the wall, like, I sit down. Like, I really cry damn loud. Like, I crying for my life. Like, this is such a bad day. I walk home in the rain. To just the chicken can save my day. You know? I just need to eat one piece of chicken. Like, I already imagined myself <laughs> dipping the chili uh. sauce. Then I damn sad, I cry so hard for one hour. Oh, then after no. that, I heard a knock on the door. Then I opened the door. Right? Then my brother cooked me like the curry Maggie me like uh. to forget. Uh. So you know you crying? I think he know. I don't know how but he knows. Like, I cried like silently. Uh. But I was very, very sad. <laughs> I feel like he says that he cooked me two packets of curry <laughs> Maggie me. And then I- <laughs> Wow, you always go to packets. Yeah, I was so. like 70% uh, better.